I'm very busy with my moulding at the moment. Uh, all the farmers around here are wanting them caught. So I thought I'd explain to you a little bit about what I'm doing. On many fields, we see moles or mole hills all over the place. And I could put mole traps anywhere on these runs that you can see. And there's a fair chance that within a few days I would have caught the mole that was making them. However, a much quicker and better way is to set your mole trap on the run as it comes into the field. The moles live underneath the walls and travel the same routes to get to the working grounds all the time. Likewise in this field, which has a quite a complex network of runs, I could waste a lot of time setting the traps anywhere within the mole hills. A much quicker way is to set the trap on one of the runs as it enters the field. Okay, so a short distance from the edge of the field. To locate the runs, we can either look for them uh, in the soil, and in this case we can see the run is slightly sunken, or we can use the probe to probe through the, the, the grass and feel the run underneath. Next, you need to carefully cut a hole through the turf along the run and as close to the exact size of the trap that you're using as possible. You need to take care not to let loose soil run down either end of the run but there is a method of getting it out if that happens. Carefully cutting away the sides of the hole to make a perfect fit. Okay, I used a hooped piece of aluminium which I can push down the runs and scrape any loose soil back before removing it with my hands. Size the hole to the trap and make any further adjustments to the hole that you need to. Then set each end of the trap as finely as you can before placing it into the hole. When placing the trap into the hole, make sure that you don't knock even the slightest blade of grass into the bottom of the tunnel, as this will be a sure giveaway to any mole that comes down the tunnel and can smell it. Use some clay or a scrunched up piece of soil to fill any large holes that may be around the trap before covering it with very friable soil. Okay, we don't want any air pockets around the trap that will give the trap's location away by a difference in air pressure to the mole. And then finally mark your trap in whichever way you want to do it. Okay, I use a piece of wire with a piece of plastic on it. 